<laughs> Alright, so, uh, what's up guys? Quadron here, gonna be bringing you another hero, uh, Quadron Plays. Um, and I'm gonna talk about a hero and explain how to play them as best I can. This is a ranked game, so I'm gonna try to find a, um, hero that makes sense within the current, um, heroes that have been picked. This guy wants farm. So, he's gonna go off lane with Marana. I already have lots of videos explaining Ember Spirit, so I'm not going to go Ember Spirit. I hope the game does not lag. The, there was, it, for some reason, it just got insanely laggy um, last time. And uh, so my choice right now is going mid or going safe lane farm. Hmm. Five I guess I can play three. Terror Blade. Ah, Pro player alarm Looks like I'm going to be playing the safe lane carry. I kind of don't want to play Terror Blade in a ranked game because I have not played him um, in in ranked yet. I've basically played him a couple times against the computer, I and that's it. My fucking jade hoof. I need this little shit down. Okay. <laughs> I put all of my So I need to pick a hero room. right away because I'm losing gold right now? Well, that's done. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, all right. I didn't really use them. I was going to sell them all anyway. Pick a hero. Come on. What am I going to go for? Well. Yo, Nathan. 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 All right. I'm just going to go. Okay, Man, I don't know what to pick. More. Nathan. All right. We're going to go gyrocopter. Just enough time to make a cup of tea. All right. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, guys. Couldn't figure out what to get. <sighs> All right. So, what are we going to be up against? Okay. All right, I'm gonna go and get a ring, a protection plus three branches, and then a healing cell. And I'm going to be going safe lane farm. He doesn't have a boot. I have a boot. <laughs> Wait, you want boots first? Okay, don't usually go boots first. That's not recommended. Um, he probably has random gold, I guess. <laughs> it. Uh, that's hilarious. Spirit Breaker's farming in a tri lane. Okay, we're gonna be against a timber saw, um, a solo off lane timber saw, and so for that reason, it might be worth leveling up homing missile. Um, normally, you want to get uh, a level in the um, rocket brush. So I'm gonna get my Bassy Ring, probably first order of business, I think. Alright. So for these range creeps, you want to, uh, usually you want to attack them, um, usually you want to attack them once before, or before the tower hits them. Oh, I'm gonna miss that one. Okay, missing a couple last hits here, which is unfortunate. So you want to try to get as many last hits as possible, obviously, as a carry. Um, and I'm doing an okay job so far. But uh, so basically, Gyrocopter, the Rocket Barrage, will do uh, a lot of damage. <laughs> but it, if you have lots of um, minions right near you, you are going to um, spread the damage out. So it'll do randomly... Uh, randomly disperse the damage out, which is a pretty big deal. So if you're um, if you're around a bunch of minions, you won't do very much damage to a hero, for example. 
Uh oh. And so basically you want to try to isolate the enemy heroes before you um, before you rocket barrage, if at all possible. And I really don't want to get hooked right now. Got my bearings. And uh, I'm gonna get one level in flak. I'm gonna go ahead and max rocket first, I think. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so whenever he does his attack, he's gotta watch out for that. Ooh, bummer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bastion ring done. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and some get my boots. So I'm gonna try to isolate the hero as much as possible. Okay, so I managed to south through just in time. Wow, this guy's maxing stun. Yeah. And uh, and uh, so basically, so basically, um, I'm gonna max rocket to do lots of damage. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my magic stick. So uh, the reason I went. The reason I went for maxing homing missile right here is that I'm in a uh, a solo lane, which means that he will never be able to deal with the homing missile before um, before it hits him, and so it's like always guaranteed damage to land. Um, and uh, so right there, that picked me up the kill without dying when I would have died there um, if I didn't have a homing missile max. Now, obviously, uh, I think many times in situations. It's better to max the uh, flat cannon or the rocket barrage first, but uh, but it's just you gotta kind of play it by ear. And I don't think I'll probably put any more levels into oh my missile. I don't know. I might. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Don't go on this one. We have so many creeps on us. Your bottom tower is under attack. All right. Come here, you. All right. Just trying not to take any damage, but it's really hard. Quit your mumbling. Your bottom tower is under attack. So right now, my job as Gyro. Um, I'm a hard carry, so my goal is to get a BKB as quickly as possible. Um, you might also consider getting a Helm of the Dominator in order to um, stack the Ancients. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh Got my bearing. I'm gonna go back here really quick to set a rocket off on him so it'll be for sure to do damage. See that did a lot of damage to him. I'm being charged right now. I'm gonna pop my barrage and my ultimate to slow him down. And might be able to get the kill here. We'll see if it gets him. Oh my god, he's so low. Alright, I'm just gonna head back and heal. Actually, he has salve. I might have lose the salve there. 
But if Pudge is on the hunt, I don't want to be low at all. So I think in that situation, I definitely should have stayed there. I got a Bassy Ring. I would have regen my mana eventually, but um, that's okay. So it looks like our other lanes are going okay-ish. This ogre is probably dead. Hey Rubik, I'm gonna do a rocket on uh, the Slugger. Radiant structures are fortified. I think we can get a kill here. Let's see if he can get out of range first. What the fuck is this ogre doing? I don't know. Alright, so I'm gonna go with Helm of the Dominator into um, BKB first. Or BKB is my first major item anyway. Nice. So, managed to pick up another one. Fudge is here. Alright, just TPing out. And nice. That was close. Surprised the Pudge didn't try to hook me there. That was really close. Alright, so, uh, gotta finish my uh, Helm of the Dominator. Bingo! Miss out. I'm going to miss out on quite a bit of XP, which is unfortunate. So the important things that I did there um, was that I waited, I dropped the missile, and I waited until he was stunned by the missile uh, before returning, and then I rocket barraged him at the very peak edge of it, and then I backed out as he did his um, whirling death, um, which would have probably killed me, or brought me down really low, I can't remember, um, but he definitely, he definitely got me really low, but... He was kiting him until he was disabled um, from the oh, missile Lord. and then going for the finishing finishing uh, kill. Because basically this rocket barrage does insane damage. It's just really, really insane damage. Um, right now it does uh, damage per... Rockets per second. Uh, three, so 300. So basically it's like 550 damage or 600 damage or so. At level three, um, and that's magical damage, so it's reduced for magic resistance. Something you gotta keep in mind. But Fresh I'm gonna go ahead and push this. Diverting. So I'm gonna push this using my uh, flat cannon. So Flatkin is my third ability. It basically um, it makes you attack all the targets within a radius, which is actually larger than your normal attack radius. So it's really good. Um, I'm gonna finish my Helm of Dominator, and then I'm gonna go into the jungle here. So now that I have my now that I have my Helm, I can grab a creep. And so that I have gained control of this creep. And uh, once he gets this, I'm gonna tell him to go here and then here. I think I can raise my altitude Sweet. Now. All right. So uh, got Max rocket now. And bingo, bingo. Very nice. I'm gonna push this. Should be a kill. Yep. 
Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my treads. <clears throat> Woo, that was close. All right, nice. <clears throat> so they were pinging it out because they knew that Pudge and uh, Spearbreaker were on the way. The enemy's bottom tower has fallen. All right, so uh, my other creep here, right here. My goal is to stack this, these ancients over and over again, and then here in about three or four minutes, I can go clear them out. So to do that, I need to hit them at 52, and then run away. Quit your mumbling. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attack right. Oh shit, I already used all my attacks. So now that I've stacked that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my rocket barrage. Do extra damage there. Now, whenever you're doing this, you probably want to kite these creatures as much as possible. And here in 10 seconds, we need to stack again. Your bottom tower is under Now you can do uh, stacks really well. Um, so let's see if I can stack this. See if I can stack this and this. It's gonna be kind of close. So it would depend on if there's ranged in that small camp or not. I might be able to get both stacks off here. All right, nice. So now I'm going to be able to use uh, my rockets here and uh, attack all of these. Shit, it looks like my team is actually fighting. They need to stop fighting immediately. So this jungling, I don't know about this jungling. Get this back in position again. I'm late on the on that. The sky's the limit, I think. My teammates need to stop going in. I don't know, I guess they're getting ganked pretty hard. Your top tower is under attack. Just get back at this point. All systems nominal. What's that? Your top tower is under attack. Looks like Spirit Breaker is heading bottom. Yes, sir. Your top tower is under attack. I missed the stack again by one second. Alright, I think I'm gonna go clear the stack out here. So the idea, I don't know if me jungling right here is actually a good idea, but the nice thing about me jungling right now is that I th I'm safe. Um, so I'm not I'm not really in any danger. Um, and I've been able to get my uh, first component of my BKB pretty easily. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this in position here. I missed one of the stacks because it wasn't in guys, position. Guys, guys, you need to defend here. Uh, excuse me, sir. Alright, I'm just gonna forget tower. the stack. It says it's being destroyed. Watch Pudge coming in as well. Sweet. 
sweet. Alright. Nice job, guys. So we managed to clean up those guys really easily. Pardon the interruption, sir, but it's a phone call from your middle tower. It says it's being destroyed. This timber saw is going to be pretty big, I think. Nice arrow. This should be a kill. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go stack this um, one more time here. And... Right now. Alright, this should be stacked. Alright. Alright, time to go. Let's go ahead and take the stack. I'm about to take the stack down here. And this should help me almost finish my BKB. I think it'll be really close. Maneuvering. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my flat cannon here early before I even get there. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It didn't stack the last round, unfortunately. I'm not sure why, but it didn't. So I'm just gonna, what you want to do in this situation is just constantly kite. Constantly kite these until the uh, last ones are there. Your top tower is under attack. Uh, can we pause, please? I'm terrified beyond the capacity for rational thought. It helps if you have max flag cannon by, the, by now, but. It would help too if I had the Mithril Hammer, I think, instead of the uh, Ogre Club. Your middle tower is under attack. I think I missed one of the stacking opportunity. Um, Your middle tower has fallen. Diverting. Alright. I'm gonna go back Not now. So I'm ranked. Th uh, I'm level 13, which is really great. Oh, I'm low health. Your bottom tower is I think I should have dropped a rocket down as well. But uh, that was really good. The the uh, call down just did tr did work. Um, murdered one of them basically, or two of them. It does uh, 300 damage on missile one, so that's a lot of early game damage. So my BKB, I need another 600. I'm gonna try to stack this. Try to keep the stack going. This is why you want a ranged one, honestly, if possible. The ranged one is gonna be a lot more reliable. I'm trying to stack that. Maneuvering. He got blo he blocked it, I think. I'm gonna take Roche. I'm almost done with BKB. One thing I have not been doing that I could be doing is, uh, oh. Repositioning. Illusion. Alright, sweet. So, I just need to kill this camp, I think. 
No, I'm gonna have to kill another camp after this. Almost BKB. Alright, I'm gonna go, uh... Alright, let's go. Alright, you have a moonlight. BKB is on the way. Trajectory confirmed. Maneuvering. Got a small stack here. Incoming! I should be. Black King I should honestly be using my uh They're, uh, they're coming. Quit your mumbling. So you always want to try to pop the BKB before you get bursted down. That turned out. That turned out really well, guys. You guys don't try to take Roche. Alright. We should try to get some towers with Death Prophet. Now that um. Somebody have bottle or anything? Okay. I got at least tank part of it. The great thing about Rocket Barrage is that it's got such a low cooldown, only 5.5 seconds. It's really insane. Alright, so after this, I think I'm gonna go, uh... Oh no. TP scroll there if someone wants it. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and get a Demon Edge. I'm gonna go MKB next. So, once you get your... Once you get your, um, BKB, you're just gonna want some solid DPS. What? At least in my mind, I think that's the best rate to go. You guys want to try to get take top tower? What's that? What's that? So you usually want to save uh, your BKB until after. What's that? All right, so I'm gonna drop BKB now. Didn't even need a BKB. Alright. They popped the Pudge ulti and the, um... Pudge ulti and Spirit Breaker charged me, and it just went really bad for them. They thought that they could go for me with my teammates. Clean them up while, uh, they were distracted with me. Which is really good for me. So, uh, basically, your goal, uh, with Gyrocopter to carry with Gyrocopter is that you want your flat Cannon to do lots of, uh, lots of damage later on. 
Radiant structures are fortified. Um, so you want to get like basically high single target damage. Okay. Mm How stupid. I should have recognized that they were all up. I went for the tower, I wanted to commit to it, but it's deniable now. Yeah, we're talking about Gyro. So I'm, I'm playing as I as I do it, so I mean, basically, um, it's harder to talk about how to explain it, but basically this is a pretty common item build, is uh, treads into helm, into BKB, into MKB, um, or butterfly, sometimes it's butterfly into MKB, and then oftentimes divine rapier after that. Middle tower is under attack. Hey, forget about it. I really don't want these guys fighting while I'm not there. I'm up in three. Your middle tower is under attack. So the big mistake I made there was definitely not uh, not popping BKB first of all before I got chain stun. You guys want to keep going with the DP ulti? Or is it too late? I'm gonna go uh, try to get top tower. Oh man, middle tower denied. How can I afford wards now? Are they gonna deny that? No, it's not. It's not in deny range. Hell yeah, that top tower got boned. Need a TP scroll. I'm gonna TP out. I'm TPing out. Oh, the BKB tore off. That's a bummer. That's a big fat bummer right there. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> ah, it's okay. I can. I should have had the bigger problem there is I should have had a TP scroll on me, going into that. And uh, the fact that I didn't have a TP scroll was the biggest problem. If I had a TP scroll, I'd be KB. TP out, good to go. But oh well. But, uh, level 16. We should group as five, I think, right now, and just keep keep up the pressure rather than going separately. I did get the tower, at least. So, not, not everything was bad there. I think they have wards there. They definitely have wards up there. Fucking getting caught out over here again. God damn it. Guys, we need to be with together on this shit. Ah, nice. Oh, that disruption saved your ass so hard. Nice job, TP. <laughs> that DP, that uh, DPS from the DP is pretty awesome.
So I definitely messed up there. Um, I think the biggest thing is I went up to try to get Pugna while Death Prophet went in over here to try to get uh, Spirit Breaker. And it's basically, then when she backed up, I got left all like hung out to dry on the other side of the river over here. And uh, that's okay. It's all good. And uh, we're still winning. I just haven't increased my farm at all um, in the last 10 minutes or so. Something like that. Hmm, should go kill this creep first. Your bottom first. tower is under attack. That was really good. All systems nominal. I try to stick with the team if I can. And one of the problems with five manning is that you just do not get nearly as much gold as when you're uh, farming solo. So I'm gonna try to alleviate that if possible. Obvious issue here. Keeping my HP up. Because right now it's really low. Only Shadow Demon is up. He's really far back. So I'm gonna stick with the group here. Alright. So that fight went extremely well. You don't life steal against the building, which is the only issue here. Bearing. Radiant structures are fortified. We have a heart on Death Prophet, which is nice. Those sods, we got their bottom tower. I think I'm gonna TP out here. TPing out. Alright, I got my MKB. And they should have known. I feel like they should have known. But that's okay. Wow, that Death Prophet commits suicide with the Bloodstone, so they don't even get the gold and experience from it. That is that's fantastic. Um, really denies them tremendous. Like, because he had a godlike spree, I think. Um, and then he had over 17 charges, so he just comes back instantly. I should have I should have stacked the ancients again. Oh well. So I've got a lot more damage now. So that that last fight went really well. Um, we did lots of damage with the flak damage, and then the, I had the I got the BKB off just barely in time. Um, they started going on me, and uh, I got mini stunned and almost died. She's doing rush, I'm just gonna go to rush. So I'm gonna get a butterfly next. Hey, uh, someone check Roche. Maybe they're doing Roche. Wait, Dyer did Roche. Engineering genius. 
Actually, I'm gonna sell that. All right. There we go. Sweet. Someone. Oh no, this is my stack. It's not stacked anymore than it was before. So they're giving me the uh, giving me the Aegis, even though the Death Prophet probably has a little more farm. Giving me the Aegis because I'm a, a lot squishier than she is. She's got a heart. And uh, that's the main reason. Plus she has a Bloodstone. She's going to come back almost instantly anyway. And she has Boots of Travel, I think. Does she have Boots of Travel? Yeah, she's got Boots of Travel. So she can basically instantly come back anyway. Make sure that doesn't block the camp. So again, we're going to be going for that uh, butterfly next. I'm probably going to get the Talisman of Evasion next. Uh, Death Prophet, can you TP in if we get in the fight? Oh, Timber Saw's over there. What's that? You guys want to go for Timber Saw? Trajectory confirmed. Timber has a lot of HP. Let's make sure we don't let him TP out. Nice job, guys. Very nice. Alright, so... Almost have enough for... Bearings. Almost have enough for the uh, half of my beacon or half of my butterfly. Uh, 2,000 number level, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these two items. So that way, you just have reliable. The enemy's top tower has. Nice job, guys. No, we should be able to take racks. I've got PKB, but I'm gonna wait for Aegis. No! Uh, pardon the interruption, sir, but it's right, a phone call from your middle tower. Pudge. It says it's been... to rock at the right people at the right time and all that crap. Alright, so now I've got a uh, butterfly on the way. can just I can BKB so
Nice. So, I managed to get the BK off just in time. Alright, I'm just gonna head back. Too dangerous to go in again. Nice. That was quite good. Um, so basically with this, um, Treads, BKB, Helm of the Dominator, um, Monkey King Bar, and Butterfly, um, I'm really hard to kill because I have Magic Immunity and then I have 35% uh, evasion. So unless they have an MKB themselves, they basically have a really hard time, a hard time hitting me. And the Treads and Butterfly give me really good attack speed. So my Flat Cannon hits really hard and fast. Um, basically killing the supports in two or three shots. Um, and then... The enemy's middle tower uh, has, has been fired into the sun with a giant... So catapult. really, it's just... And then, obviously in a one-on-one -on -one man up fight, like the against, for example, like an anti-mage, which is one of the harder uh, carries, um, Gyro will oftentimes lose, but it's the fact that he's got so much team fight. Um, he's like a team fight carry the with the flat cannon. That's just really hard to deal with um, as a team. And then we've got the Death Prophet, and then so me and the Death Prophet both having um, doing AOE damage to all of their team the makes it really hard for uh, for them. So you can see how fast I shoot; it's just it's insane. We now have Mega Creeps. So. So we basically we have the game, so we're just messing around with them now. <laughs> okay. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Repositioning. Radiant structures are fortified. No! <laughs> No! I'm dead. <laughs> so close to living. Uh. So... <laughs> I guess they're defending. I don't really know why they're defending, but they are. Um, so that's the guy to gyro, guys. Um, let me just kind of go over his abilities um, again. So this says AoE damage, three seconds. Um, level 1 does 310 damage, I think is what it is. Um, and uh, let's go back to Gyrocopter. There it is. So, Gyrocopter, 310 damage, level 1. Really, really strong level 1 skill. Homing Missile can do massive amounts of damage, but will oftentimes not land if they have multiple uh, enemies in the same lane. They'll just kill the missile before it lands. So only a really level Homing Missile is if you are in a one-on-one -on -one or a like two-on-one -on -one situation where he's not going to be able to deactivate the Homing Missile, um, and then it'll land and it'll do lo it does lots of damage. And the Sun Duration goes up as well as the damage. So level three, for example, does 330 damage, which is a good chunk in the early game um, of their, their their life. And then that obviously stuns them allowing you to catch up and do a rocket barrage. So really great um, synergy between those two first skills. Um, and then flat, flat Cannon is also really great um, in the early game if you use it to zone out the enemy opponent. You can use that to zone out the enemy opponent um, because you just constantly are attacking the creeps to getting last hits and it's also attacking the enemy um, as well. It's only 50 mana cost. So really um, low cost, high harass um, ability as well. So. That is the uh, basics of how to play Gyro, as I kind of talked about in the middle. And I know it was a little bit, a little bit hairy, but um, I think I'm just going to put this up as kind of a quadron plays Gyro, not as a like full blown guide, um, but uh, Gyro gameplay commentary. I think that's probably why I'm going to put it up. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That's it, Quadron signing out for the gameplay commentary.